Okay, okay. Trade six hundo. Three six double O. Trade six hundred with a niggas who run it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trade six hundo. Three six double O. Trade six hundo. Three six double O. Turn the camera, man. Hey, big NHL, man. You already know the fuck we rockin', man. Gang, gang, gang. That's kitty. Uh, all right, and uh, uh, NHL Marcel, where where you from, my guy? Hey, I'm a from Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? Cleveland, Mississippi. North side of Mississippi, but we still in the south. You feel me? Fuck you talking about? And uh, and we, give me a give me a story growing up uh, in Mississippi. Like how high is it down there? Man, I ain't gonna cap. It's like it's like every other like neighborhoods type shit. You know what I'm saying? We came from nothing. Niggas running around. Hitting legs, running barefoot, playing football in the dirt, you know what I'm saying? Shooting hoops with no goddamn gold net, like shit bad as hell out there. Yeah. But the only thing the best thing about it, you know what I'm saying? We all have that family situation. So everybody came together, we always had a good time. She even bust up with the water hose. I don't know what it's the, not the water hose, the fire hydrant one time. Yeah. We had that shit bust. You feel what I'm saying? I'm probably say that's the best memory right there. Reggie. Oh, that's a fact, that's a fact. And then um when would you say you jumped off the porch? Shit, thirteen. 13. I jumped up the porch at 13. Shit, kicking in those. Shit, robbing shit. Doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just to get a dollar. I ain't gonna cut. All right, if you can give me one story about, you know what I'm saying, you being young and then some bullshit. Man, shit. I ain't gonna cut. Uh, I ain't gonna say no name. But yeah, me and these two individuals. You know what I'm saying? We went up in the house. You know what I'm saying? We needed some money at the time. We saw the nigga, he had a police gun. So shit, we went up in the nigga, put some guns, coins. You know what I'm saying? A couple other shit. I already gave you a little bit too much, bro. <laughs> All right, and then, uh, and then, like, and just, uh, what, how'd you, uh, come from, uh, how'd you get to Austin? Like, what, 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 what was the reason you came here? Shit, my mama, you know what I'm saying? She didn't know how to stay in one spot. We moved from state to state to state to state. Shit, we went from Chicago, Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Even my brothers, they went to, uh, what's this shit called up there? Baltimore, Maryland, mm -hmm. uh, Springfield, Missouri. Indiana, we just moved around a lot. She didn't know, she didn't have know what she was comfortable with. But like, Austin is the longest while we've been at. Yeah. Went to school out here and everything. Yeah, that's what's up, that's what's up. Yeah. All right, then, uh, all right, you have you ever been uh, locked up before? Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, give me, uh, give me, uh, well, give me uh, one of the reasons why you've been locked up and like. Baby, you... mama, drama. Yeah. Baby, mama, drama. That's, that's it. Want a nigga to love on them, the next minute they turn on call the feds. That's yeah. how it goes. And then, uh, okay, you being locked up, uh, what was the experience you going to jail? Man, that shit, that shit horrible. You shouldn't be comfortable going to jail. I've been in jail a lot of times, though, but it shouldn't be comfortable just going to them. Man. That shit horrible. Like, you're around like four walls and shit all day, every day. You hear shit, like, my, like shit stank the cell bad as hell. Like, niggas don't want to live that shit. I'd rather be outside. Fuck you talking about. That's a whole jail cell telling the white man telling you what to do, how to sleep, how how to jump and all that shit. That shit bullshit. I feel that. I feel that. It's real. Did you was you in there ever? Was you ever in there long or you or just short? No, nah, I did a couple of them, like I probably as long as I was in there probably like almost a year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was the TDC one time. You know what I'm saying, but it's just off the previous charge. And then what was what was TDC like? Shit, that's like really a cakewalk. You know what I'm saying, Nick, brother? I'm telling you. That shit gay as hell. Like niggas real like be doing some gay ass shit up in there. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas real like be putting like cookies and cookies on your fucking pillow and all that bullshit like a nigga want you or something. Man. That yeah. shit, that's that's some real life shit. Niggas be talking that shit on the outside. They they telling the truth. That shit gay as hell. Up. But they real like be, you know what I'm saying? Ripping shit down, making tattoo guns and all that stuff. But niggas get active in that bitch. Yeah. For real, for real. All right. Um. And then what got you? What got you into doing music? Shit, I've been doing music since I was seven years old. Like, we came from a whole music bloodline. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my Uncle Terrence. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to him. Man, he put me in the studio while he was up in Chicago in the basement and shit. Everybody else over here running around here acting like little kids. I'm up here trying to figure out what he doing. Right. I never watched Cartoon Network really until I got a little older. I just always want to watch MTV, VH1, BET. That's all I want. You know what I'm saying? always attracted to me. Just straight music. Real for real. And shit, well, all right, well, you live in Chicago. What was it like living in Chicago? Shit, just like every other hood, you know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna pick on you, you know what I'm saying? Niggas get shot in broad daylight. Like, this shit, wow, like a whole fucking jungle out there. Bitch. Yeah. What, what part of Chicago was you at? Shit, I think it's like, I don't know if I'm saying it right.
but it was like, I think it was 79, mm -hmm. 79th and Cottage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went over there. That's my uncle, uh, that's my cousin Ernest said. And shit. I said, RP to Ernest too, you feel what I'm saying? But yeah, that's his special shit. Oh, that's crazy. You've yeah. been in a lot of hoods, a lot of, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. All right, um, and break down the uh, the the, um, the, NF, um, the NHL. Like, what? Break down that. Sure. How, how that come about? It's never had love, man. NHL staff never had love. I'm saying the whole purpose behind the situation is we really had to switch our name because of gang the violations, shit. You know what I'm saying? So we had to switch everything else. So we all just came with a name. But my little brother really came up with it. You feel what I'm saying? Like he really put it together. Like it had a meaning behind it. Like the love that we gave out, we never got dished back. So the only love that we give is to our niggas. That's why we say never had love, but we love in their Right. It's real for real. No, that's Trey Six Hundo. Hey, this the drop right here. If you ain't with it, you getting dropped, baby. Get with it before you get left behind, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, shout out my boy Trey Six Hundo. You gonna have an interview? Yes, sir. Let's get. Yo, yo, what's happening? It's your big guy, Gorilla Zo. Let me Trey Six Hundo. Yes, sir. Stay tuned. Let's go. What's going down, baby? It's Black Smooth the Barber behind every legend. It's a great barber. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Mr. Mike, don't trust you in the building. I ain't got no legend with me right now except Black Smooth the Barber, but we rocking with Trey 600. Trey 600! Trey 600! Yes! Big, big, big deal. These niggas, Trey 600, nigga, in the building, nigga. Talk to me. I talk back. Here we got a Trey Hunter 600.